Hello everyone, in this video we are going to make two dynamic plots. Dynamic line plot and this bar race plot. So let's start. First of all, let's load these packages. For the data, we are going to use the same GTP data that we used in the previous video. This code here uh, retrieves the data from the World Bank website. Let's view. So, this is the content of the Excel file that we imported. If you want to know more about this code, uh, please refer to the previous video. Now I'm just dropping uh, these columns because we don't need them. And I want to rename this column, the first uh, column name, just as country. As we discussed in the video about the ggplot, ggplot prefers to work with uh, data in the, in the long format. So here we are, in, we are going to reshape the data set in a long format. So this is the data set that we're going to use plot, but we have to subset for the G20 countries. Okay, so these are the G20 countries and I'm going to store the country's name in this object. I do this because I want to be sure that the name that I wrote uh, are the same name here in this column. So to do to check this, I use the in operator. So I'm checking that the names stored in G20 underscore countries are the same as the uh, the names stored in country in this data set. We run this, we found that there is a false. This is 20, oh, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. So the entry in is different. If we check here, this entry stored at the index number 15 is Russia. Let's go in the data set and let's search for Russia. And as you can see, Russia is written as a Russian Federation. So what we do next is to replace Russia with Russian Federation. And if now we check, as you can see, they are all true. So we know for sure that these names are the same name as in country. And I did this because now we're going to subset. And if the names are not correct, the subset uh, is not uh, complete. So let's run this. Now this is the final data set with the G20 country. So let's make the first plot. And the first plot will be static. We already discussed this code in the video about G20, so I'm just running the code. And this is the, the line plot. Now I'm going to use this. Uh, static plot is the base for the dynamic plot. Here I store the dynamic plot in this object g20 plot underscore anim. This is the static plot. Here I add a leading point and this will be clear in a moment. But the key code for the dynamic plot is this one. Transition underscore reveal as a numeric here. Basically the numbers increase, the, the line will move to the right. Let's run. Let's view the plot. Now, this takes uh, about one minute, so I suggest that you play the video uh, forward.
So this is our dynamic plot. But as you can see, the plotting area is very restricted. What we do next is to expand this plotting area. So in the function animate, the first entry here is the dynamic plot. And then we set the height and the width. Let's run this code. You can see we expanded the, the plotting area and this is the leading point that we set with the jump point. Okay now let's move to the to the next plot. So for the bar race plot uh, the main part of this code uh, comes from this uh, this website so I write the link uh, to this website in the description so please refer to this blog for the explanation of the code the main part here is that I'm going to rescale the, the GDP the issue is that I want the GDP to be plotted on the bar uh, on the bar plot the value uh, as it is, it's too large. So for this reason, we are going to rescale. Now, uh, I generate a new data set here. And the key part is this one. We are grouping by year. So for each year, we are uh, computing the rank. This is our ratio and the label. So we are basically generating these three new columns. Let's run. So this is the new uh, the new data set. You can see we set the rank. And these are the other two columns. Now for the for the bar race plot, the main, main code is this one to make the bar race and this one to make it dynamic. The rest is just to control some aesthetics. So let's run. Now we are going to use again animate. So we are going to set the height and the width. But in this case, we set also the number of frames that equal to, we double the length of the unique value of the year in this data set. Uh, we do this because when there are too, uh, too many frames, uh, the, the dynamic plot will be interrupted. So we are going to extend the number of frames. Another uh, key code here is this FPS5. Basically, FPS uh, control for the speed frames uh, per second. The default value is 10. So by setting equal to 5, we are slowing down the, the, 
the bar race plot. Let's run. This is the bar race plot, and this is the GDP that we, we print on the plot. We scale the value. Now, uh, I want to show you how you can export this as a GIF image. Basically, the code is the same as before. We just add renderer equal gifsky underscore renderer. Uh, we choose a name and dot extension GIF and this object will be located in your working directory. So let's run. And this is the RS plot that I showed you at the beginning. So now this is located in the working directory. In my case, this is my working directory. And I found here. I click here. I open again this uh, RS plot. So I hope this is useful. If you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.